Tommy Tuberville is the most disgraceful current member of the United States Senate. And there's a lot of competition for disgraceful in the, United, in the current United States Senate, where the Republican side of the aisle is occupied by the very worst collection of senators since the last segregationist left the building. Tommy Tuberville is widely regarded now within the Senate as possibly the stupidest senator in the chamber now, who has never previously had to contemplate anything more complicated than diagramming a football play. When I think of the senator's mindless cruelty, I think about my mother's younger sister, Mary, who married an Irish guy from Brooklyn, whose father was a construction worker, but who somehow made it to West Point and made a career in the Army, picking up combat decorations in World War II and in the Korean War, and working his way all the way up to the rank of general. I think of my Aunt Mary anticipating those promotions that came right on schedule, without the slightest pause, right through the United States Senate confirmation process that was then invisible. I don't think it was until my second year of working in the Senate that I realized that military promotions at the higher levels are confirmed by the United States Senate because it was done automatically and invisibly, never a roll call vote, always unanimous consent. Confirmations for military promotions took as long as it took to say the name of the officer on the Senate floor who was being promoted. With every one of those promotions comes a pay raise. And my Aunt Mary always knew exactly what that pay raise was going to be and exactly when it was going to begin. And the final pay raise would determine the size of the military pension that she could count on. My Aunt Mary had seven children. No one in the United States Senate knew that when my uncle's promotions sped through the Senate. No one was thinking that my Aunt Mary needs that pay raise in her budget for those seven kids as fast as possible because everyone in the Senate knew that the military promotions were going to move faster than anything else the Senate ever did until Tommy Tuberville. Tommy Tuberville is literally taking money out of the pockets of officers in the Army, Navy, Marines, and the Air Force Tommy Tuberville is fining those military officers, in effect. By delaying their promotions, they are losing the income that come with those promotions, income that will never be restored. In the military, you get the pay raise when you get the promotion, not a day before. And if Tommy Tuberville makes you wait six months or a year or more for your promotion, that's a year's worth of income that you have lost and will never get. And Tommy Tuberville does not care. He does not feel a thing. Nothing in Tommy Tuberville could ever care about one day of my Aunt Mary's life or any of the lives of any of the military families who are suffering every day now because of him, and only because of him. He lives and breathes cruelty without feeling a thing. Today, the Senate finally broke Tommy Tuberville's mindless block on only three of the more than 300 promotions that Tommy Tuberville is blocking. Air Force General C.Q. Brown was confirmed as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, 83 to 11, with 11 Republicans voting against him for no apparent reason whatsoever. It couldn't possibly be his race, right? They would never do that. Tommy Tuberville was, of course, one of the nine senators with zero military experience who voted against General Brown today. General Randy George was confirmed 96 to 1. As the chief of staff of the Army, Mike Lee was the only one to shame himself in voting against General George. And General Eric Smith was confirmed 96 to nothing as Commandant of the Marine Corps 
proving that Tommy Tuberville was blocking General Smith's promotion for absolutely no reason at all. General Smith wasn't worried about himself in this delay. He actually said last week, quote, I make plenty of money. Now, as Marine Corps Commandant, General Smith is going to make $212,000 a year. There is no member of the United States Senate who thinks that that's a lot of money. Almost all of them are much, much richer than that level of income. General Eric Smith has skills that could earn him millions of dollars in corporate America. But he's happy with his paycheck as a general, a paycheck that was, in effect, cut by Tommy Tuberville's nonsense and cruelty in delaying the pay raise that General Smith will now get. Thousands of people continue to be financially hurt by Tommy Tuberville every day, right now, tonight. Over 300 officers and their families, including their children and their spouses, are all living on lower paychecks than they would be if Tommy Tuberville were still a football coach instead of the most disgraceful senator of the year.